Hi guys, I'm in Korea! Day 2 in Jeju Island, South Korea and I'm currently in Osalic Tea Museum but let me give you guys an update on what I've been up to yesterday. So yesterday was my day 1 in Jeju Island and also my day 1 of working and the hostel work was much lighter than I expected it to be. To give you guys an idea, in my previous hostel I had to work for 5-6 to six hours per day and we had to sit at the reception and do the registration for the guests, the check-in, take payments and of course it was still like not a lot compared to a full-time job but it is much lighter over here yesterday we started work at 11 o'clock and we finished everything by 12 30 and all i had to do was just a bit of cleaning mopping the laundry and also take out the trash so yeah like i think i'm really gonna have a great time here so every evening we get our work schedule for the next day and yesterday i found out that i'm off for three days continuously and i think like that's so freaking sweet of the owner because he knows that i just arrived in jeju island and i have no idea like what the island is about so he gave me three days to explore and then i'll be working four days which is like an hour per day i met him this morning too and he was an absolute sweetheart i took the bus from a hostel to here um took me an hour and a half but yeah like usually when i'm back at home taking an hour of bus ride is like the worst thing ever but now that i'm in a foreign country it's all new sights for me to see so yeah i really enjoy the bus ride too and now let's go explore I just finished shopping in industry and let me show you guys what i got i spent a total of fifty-eight thousand for this whole bag which when you think about it i bought four items so i guess it was pretty reasonable like after all it is a korean brand so firstly i got a body wash secondly i got a shampoo thirdly i got a conditioner so they're not called as conditioner over here they're called treatment so yeah i asked the staff and she showed me this one and lastly, I got a hair serum. I had shampoo, conditioner, and all those things back in China. But I just didn't feel the need to bring them along because they're quite heavy. And I'd rather my luggage be filled up with clothes than with all these liquid items. So yeah, I'm happy I got them. And now I can feel like a true local here who is all high maintenance and pretty and cute. So I'm headed back to my hostel now. And I just want to show you guys the surroundings. So this is where my hostel is located and right opposite there is a convenience store, nice to see you. Here are all the shops which is essential, um, there's a lot of supermarkets, restaurants, cafes, massage centers and the roads here are just so pretty especially at this time of the day. So now we're at the hostel where I'm staying in slash working at, there's a nice mirror for doing fit checks, you guys know how much I love that and this is the staff only area. So our work shift starts at 11 o'clock every single day so by 10 30 all the volunteers gather here to get breakfast drink coffee and just communicate with each other here is the stairs so i'm living on the third floor this is my bed i got the biggest bed in the room and here are my roommates beds and there's another mirror for fit checks i also do my makeup right over here next day so yesterday after the last clip i didn't really do much i did take a job interview online and the first round went really really well i sent in all my documents fill in the application so i'm hoping in the coming vlogs i can give you guys more good news and now we're at a unesco destination in english it's called sunrise peak in korean i really don't want to butcher such a beautiful name but this is the place this is the mountain formed by hydrovolcanic eruptions and there is the seaside y'all this view is incredible i don't think the phone camera does it enough justice but that is beautiful that is beautiful <laughs> you can see the water glistening um there's somebody fishing right there and yeah this whole neighborhood area is just so colorful and bright oh uh, so many cute cafes i generally don't know which one to choose to fulfilling meal like that one cake covered up three meals i had to go climb a mountain or something to digest one adult ticket please thank you oh 
Oh my god, I can taste chocolate in my mouth when I burp. Telescopes are fucking insane. I looked into that thing and I could see the family dining right over there. Like, I could see what was on their plate. That is equally impressive and concerning. Try to stabilize my phone to take a video of me climbing up the stairs and I accidentally cracked my camera. Please cooperate and promote many times. Y'all, look at the sand. Oh my god, it's so crunchy too. <laughs> so a lot of you guys often ask me in my DMs like, Lily, when you travel, how do you make your itinerary? Do you plan it a week in advance, a month in advance? Like, what do you do? And to tell you the truth, I actually plan it on the day. And the way I do it is by asking ChatGPT. I know, I know that is like the most Gen Z thing ever, but chat is really perfect for making travel plans. Because whenever I'm referring to travel blogs or travel vlogs, it's always tailored to the likings of that vlogger themselves. So, you know, sometimes like my interests might not align with theirs, but with AI, I can basically just tell it like, hey, you know, I'm not really too big into museums, but I want to visit like all the interesting places and yeah. It gives you like the best suggestions. Also, another problem I have with travel vlogs is that vloggers really be waking up at six o'clock in the morning to go climb a mountain. And like that is just not me. I am super lazy. So the earliest I can wake up when I'm traveling is like at nine, right? So yeah, like with that, I can also mention it to chat and I'd be like, hey girl, like I'm kind of lazy. Um, I like to start off my day mid midday. So can you make me a plan for the day? So yeah, if you guys are lazy travelers like me or if there are things which don't interest you while you're traveling, then just use AI to plan it. So I asked AI today where I should go after this UNESCO spot and it said there's a Manjugol cave which is very nearby supposedly. So um, I'm gonna search up the route and after that I'm thinking of visiting Teddy Bear Museum. I just looked at the pictures and they're so fucking cute. Uh, like basically all the main, all the famous paintings that you know of they have those paintings in that museum but in teddy bear form so that is so adorable but the thing is that um, that museum closes at 6 o'clock and it's currently 2.30 so I hope I'm able to squeeze two places into today's agenda because in the evening I have another English course to teach and I'm kind of like doing a not too good job not with the teaching itself but with my time management the other day i misremembered the timing for one of my students lessons and yeah i was late 20 minutes to the class like the organizer had to message me and be like hello you have a class <laughs> and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry like i was in a meeting and i'm rushing back home i was literally on tiktok so yeah that's something i need to work on now i'm gonna chill here and just watch the sea for a few minutes before getting on the go again to go to this magical cave Yeah, so I think I missed my bus stop or something because the distance was supposed to be four stops and 45 minutes and then it turned into one hour and 38 minutes. So I was like, I need to hop off. I don't care where I am, but I need to hop off and turn my way around. And I am literally in the middle of nowhere. Like there's not a single human being here and there's fucking horses. <laughs> like, this is such a random place. But I also learned that the really famous grandfather's stone is apparently only two kilometers from here so I think I'm gonna walk because walking is always a safe choice. Buses, buses confuse the hell out of me. This is where I was supposed to be and apparently it's 25 kilometers away from me. Y'all, I just saw a corpse of a deer. 1.1 kilometers more and we're done with this really scary route. Oh my god, we're finally here. That was the most interesting thing I've done in my life. Like there was all these giant trucks in the middle of the road and I had to walk across all those trucks. But like luckily the construction workers were really sweet and they were all like helping me to just get to the safe side. But anyways, we are here. I'm genuinely convinced I'm the only person here. Look how abandoned this place is, what the hell? Isn't this like a tourist destination? Where's the tourist? Bro, what the hell? <laughs> There's no cars parked. I was really scared that the park was gonna be closed or it was an off day, but apparently I just chose a really good day and a time to come because today is the only sunny day in the entire week and 
there are no tourists around so i can scream shout and vlog all i want so the park closes in one and a half hours so i have adequate amount of time to just kind of go to the main places um yeah oh look at this, this is so cute mother and child guys i found it the grandfather made of rocks so those in korean is called doll harbon stone grandfather and basically legend says that if you rub their nose you will give birth to a boy but if you rub their ears you will give birth to a girl and yeah they're so cute look at that I think there's a specific museum dedicated to only the grandfather rocks. Um, this one is not yet. I thought it was the same one. But yeah, um, this is a little like preview to you guys. And we will check that out too. So I'm back in the hostel and I just had dinner. Which, by the way, Nene Chicken was my always go-to brand whenever I ate at Dubai Mall of Emirates. So it's so nice to like finally dine it in Korea where the brand is from. So yeah, that was a very, very good meal. This is the place where we kind of just have our meals so the solid kitchen items whatever items uh, that does not have a name on it is kind of for the public so like all the volunteers can use this is where we kind of chill hot water items to clean the rooms this is the manager's office area and yeah this is our place this is our little staff area and our work schedule is all written here uh i need to run now because literally in a few minutes i need to start my online teaching lesson so i'm gonna run now and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye